always, if you would, start us off with an opening statement or two, and then we'll take questions. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, all of our seniors and their families and uh, their friends and relatives that were here today. Uh, we recognized four uh, student athletes today, and they are one of our managers, Erica Fulham-Camp. From uh, she joined us second semester from the volleyball team. Uh, her, her parents joined us as, as well, uh, along with Deborah Hoekstra and Jasmine Matthews, who've been in the program for four years. And, uh, it is bit, bittersweet uh, uh, senior day because you have so many memories and recollections of uh, great accomplishments and how all four of those student athletes have gone from uh, a boy and girls to a young man and a, uh, into a, a young woman. Uh, and just I'm really proud of how they have grown and matured while at BGSU and uh, they're fantastic citizens and they'll be uh, sor sorely missed. But secondly, I just want to thank, thank the crowd uh, being our last home game. Uh, they showed up today to honor those four student athletes and they uh, really showed the credit of what this community is all about. And it was disappointing we couldn't, couldn't have a kind of a magical moment and uh, pull off the victory tonight. Uh, had some chances, but it was a 40 minute game. And, those are some things, as I've said in the past, that we strive for, and we, we made it a 40-minute contest where we had a foul there at the, at the very end. But um, Grace is a really talented team. Um, they've got three three kids that we just call them the, the big three. Uh, they can drop a lot of points and rebounds on any anybody on any given night, and they did that tonight uh, against us, um, scoring the majority of their points. But we, we put up 71 points. We did change things so offensively and defensively to try and disrupt uh, the tempo of, of Akron. Uh, and I thought we actually disrupted their tempo with that said, even though they, they, scored, they still scored 79 points, but we took care of the ball uh, better than we had in, in previous games. And uh, we're able to make shots at the arc, get to the foul line, and unfortunately we just couldn't control the, the big three tonight, in my opinion, enough for us to get the victory. But with that said, I thought our team played very, very hard. Uh, and it was a uh, valiant effort. Is not even uh, a strong enough phrase to describe uh, this team's performance tonight. Can you talk a little bit about the, the tempo of the game? I know, obviously, you guys were going slow, and they have ways to still speed up the game, make or miss. Were you happy with where the tempo was? Well, John, as you tweeted, yes, I did want to tackle us as soon as we got a defensive rebound. I, I wanted to take some time off so for our kids to get down, down the floor. Uh, as you can tell, it took us still a while to get down the floor. Uh, I got half his team and myself, I think, are kind of cold. Uh, so we needed any sort of uh, uh, advantage we could get to try and control tempo. And we uh, were able, it allowed us to get into sets, but you're right, they want to play as fast as they can. They have the uh, thickest playbook of any team in the conference, uh, but with that said, they would just rather push it ahead and go one to five with King, or one to two to Pylon, or one to three to Brown, and not let them play at all. And, uh, I thought we did a good job getting back in transition for, for the most part of the night, but uh, yeah, but that was a, a big key to the to game for us keeping it as close as long as we did. And then that also makes them a really hard team to trade baskets with, isn't it? I mean, because they have so many weapons who are really adept at scoring on every possession. Uh, they're they're comfortable trading, so they they score the most points, but they give up the most points mm -hmm. in, in the league. And, and and you guys generally, that's not what you want to do. Generally, I just want to score more than the other team. <laughs> Keep it that simple. Do I see glimpses? Yeah. I I see more than glimpses. I, I, I see a, a lot of bright bright lights, and I thought Sarah's contributions off the bench today uh, were were great. Um, uh, Haley as well. You look at those two freshmen in particular. They had 17 points.
Obviously, the new season starts Monday. Everyone is zero and zero, and all the other cliches that go with it. But your team, obviously, in a unique position. You know, the decade-long run of the postseason NIT NCAA tournament. Obviously, a little different this year. How do you approach the MAC tournament this time around, given that you know the last decade you've had a favorable season? It's March Madness. Anything can happen. I mean, it's that that simple. Um, I don't. If you would have asked. We would have gone to Vegas and checked the, the line on, on this game. It would have been what it was today. And yet we had, we had opportunities to finish the game and potentially win. So it's March. Deborah, talk about it. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. So obviously you're still looking, obviously not that you're looking forward to, but you're looking forward to it. And I guess, well, like you said, it's as simple as zero and zero. It, it is, but. Uh, we, we get to play another game. Um, the, the toughest part of each season, no matter if it's what class you work with or what staff
after you have in place a computer lab scan. That's uh, so tough. Yeah, not to see them. Uh, and we're fortunate that we still have the opportunity to do that. And we'll, uh, I believe we are uh, waiting for official word, but uh, we will we'll find out. Um, we have one, guaranteed one more game. And again, it's, it's March Madness. Anything could happen. And, uh, I just, I know our kids will play hard no matter who we're playing. Uh, the difficult part is it will be a short prep and we have to travel. Uh, and that, uh, but that's really hard work to see right now. And you don't take a different approach for prep and everything, it's just status quo. Um, no, no, we'll have the same. same well, I guess given, given you know previous experience in the tournament of a favorable seed of getting ready for the tournament. Yeah, the prep is different because we have one, only one day in between uh, our game. But it's our scouting report's pretty much done. Um, and we'll tweak, tweak it throughout the night. Um, and then I'll continue to watch some film as well, along with uh, our, our staff on our next opponent. Uh, it's, we'll practice very short tomorrow, do film and scout, do some walkthrough, and then get on the road. That can almost be a good thing because you probably call those Tuesdays, right? So, I mean, that can almost be a good thing because you can almost call those Tuesdays like a regular game, mm -hmm. you know, the regular season. Mm -hmm. Deborah said there's, uh, she talked about the kind of a quiet confidence coach on the team, even though the, you know, the struggles in the last few games. Uh, she said the mood in the locker room is good, and uh, she feels like whoever you play, it's going to be tough to beat you again because she feels like the, the girls are playing well together, coming together, and they talk about the growth of the young kids too. That's good she said that. Yeah, um, yeah it's, the energy's still there. Um, and I think we're still positive. We're, we're changing some. We're trying to keep some, they <laughs> changing some things offensively and defensive, so we're still trying to tweak stuff to make it a difficult prep for our, our opponents. But um, you know, we, we're still doing the same way of drill that the others done for four years. So I know that's I appreciate her saying that, but I know she probably hates all of those. <laughs> um, and the monotony of that, but um, they're they're given the effort, and I think they. Their, their effort that they're giving uh, is, is being appreciated by, by others. Um, and they can, no matter what you do or what you get professionalized or what sport you play, or you can say you gave, gave the best effort that you, you can. Uh, I think you can put your head down at night and you sleep all right. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Coach.